We're really pleased, therefore, and honored to be here today to announce a major long-term investment that will improve the quality of care and services provided to our Commonwealth veterans here at Chelsea Soldiers Home. Soldiers Home in Chelsea has always been committed to providing comprehensive quality health care and residential services with honor, dignity, and respect to the Commonwealth's veterans. And having been here several times over the course of almost two decades now, I can speak based on my own personal uh, views here that people here really do deliver on that notion of honor, respect, and dignity to the people they serve every day. And at this particular facility, which was opened in 1949, those veterans have access to long-term skilled nursing and Alzheimer's care to address their needs. And to support that mission and these critical supports for our veterans, the capital plan we're releasing today includes an $8 million down payment in fiscal 18 on an estimated $199 million. I always get a kick out of that. $199 million. We're absolutely sure it's not going to be like maybe $200 million. Okay for a new long-term care facility. We expect and anticipate that we'll, the Commonwealth will invest $70 million over the life of the project, and then 65 million, or 65% of it will be federally reimbursed pending federal approval. There's been a lot of back and forth with the feds on this issue. They're very enthusiastic about this project. We believe it will be ultimately supported by them, but one way or another, this project's gonna get done. I'm really pleased um, that this administration has put such a strong emphasis, and that's why we're here to celebrate the investment that's going to be made here at the Chelsea Soldiers Home. Since my first days in politics, this institution has been incredibly important to me, and I'm pleased to advocate for the home during my time as a representative. Uh, and it's important to me because of the number of friends and more importantly the number of constituents that I have had who have been so well served uh, at this home. And I know that this investment that's being made here today is going to make uh, this, the Chelsea Soldiers Home, even more vibrant than it ever has been. Since we took office, our administration has worked diligently to develop a capital spending plan to ensure we address our capital needs while maintaining fiscal responsibility. This capital plan builds upon the work that we began last year to prioritize funding to maintain and modernize the state's existing assets while also making targeted investments for the future. Within these strategic parameters, projects funded within the capital plan focus on five themes. First, taking care of what we have so that we protect, maintain, and modernize our existing assets. Second, enhance workforce skills and economic vitality to provide tools to build upon a workforce that meets employers' needs and promotes regional economic development. Third, engaging our communities as we continue to serve as a reliable partner to our cities and towns. Fourth, driving government performance so that the state delivers better services to all those who need them. And fifth, optimizing the value of our investments by leveraging outside resources to maximize state dollars.